Hi. <laughs> I have an announcement. I mean, Isabel has an announcement. I don't think I ever even mentioned that Bella was on the island. But yeah, she's leaving. Uh, so I guess that means that it's time for a villager hunt. You know, naturally. Recently, I've been bored by the villagers on my island. And I was touring some islands, trying to gain some inspiration. And when I'm touring these islands, one thing they all had in common, their villager roster looked very curated. And like, I don't know, like I could just tell that these villagers went together. You want to see my villager list? List. they're giving random villagers that i thought were cute because that's literally what it was so i figured why not go on an unhinged villager hunt where i get rid of like five of them so who's on the chopping block i was preparing for this video in the morning and i was like changing my outfit because i was wearing something hideous something god awful chicks was on my island and i was talking to kicks and i was like hey do you have any cute shoes Sorry, that was a car that scared me. <laughs> I was talking to Kix, trying to see if he had any cute accessories or shoes. And Bella is walking around me with a thought bubble. And I was like, thank you for making my life so much easier. So yeah, Bella is first on the chopping block. And then we have Nan. Nan is adorable. I love her. I love a black sheep. You know what I mean? I love everything about it. But she's an autofill. You know, I kicked out Meringue, which I still look he still regret a little bit. But it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I made peace with it. I am great. Anyways, yeah, Nan is second on the chopping block. Third, Lolly. I love Lolly. Lolly was also an autofill. Surprisingly, right? I get really cute autofills. Lolly is third on the chopping block. Okay, and then the last three, I don't know, I'm not sure about, okay? So don't hate me, but these villagers, I want them on my island, but I also wouldn't mind if they left and like someone cuter came to the island, you know what I mean? And those three are Marlo. <laughs> it hurts me to say this, I love having an old grandpa on the island. Marlo is a maybe, you know what I mean? Like maybe he can leave, maybe not. Chrissy? Oh, I can't believe I'm saying this because Chrissy? took work to get here i've been kind of like thinking about ruby lately ruby does have red eyes which is very appealing to me for some reason so yeah ruby i mean <laughs> he sorry <laughs> chrissy's also a maybe you know what i mean and lastly this one hurts my soul fauna Ugh. you know fauna is a maybe because i really like her and i want her on my island but she has a thought bubble and depending on how desperate i am she is also on the chopping block so yeah i guess since i showed you who i'm kicking out i should also talk about villagers that i'm looking for so the villagers i want are claudia you know i've been villager hunting on my old island like the one i deleted to make this island and i would always get claudia and loki i was kind of like repulsed by her but i have changed i'm a changed person character development and now i want her on my island and i never see her which is so rude i feel like she knows that i want her now and now she's like playing hard to get so claudia is my number one next up is marcy the kangaroo i think she's so cute she's a recent love of mine she kind of grew on me lately because i think my boyfriend restarted his island and he had a kangaroo and then i started going down the rabbit hole kangaroos and i was like wow the pink kangaroo is really cute so yeah marcy is number two number three is lucky how can i resist lucky is just the coolest villager design you know he's a freaking mummy and i could put him in a graveyard that would be ugh, beautiful i know it's probably like already done but i don't claim to be an original girl i am just a girl i hope that made sense you know i'm a little confused myself we'll just <laughs> we'll just see everything how it plays out so i guess like say bye to bella and get on with our lives also look at my island when the snow is all melted I kind of hate it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I kind of hate it. Also, I didn't show this in my last video, but for the cotton candy stall, I added a raccoon figurine. You probably can't see. But yeah, there's a little raccoon here selling cotton candy. So the raccoon from the last video who lost his cotton candy, he moved to my island and now he just has a stall full of cotton candy and he can eat cotton candy whenever he wants. So yeah, great. I think this is Bella's house. Okay, we gotta say bye to her, and then we're gonna time travel tomorrow, and then start villager hunting. Bella is a cutie. I'm kind of sad that she has to leave, but I have cuter villagers coming. Look, she's so cute. Aww. Okay, deuces. I'm gonna time travel, and I'll be back tomorrow. Great. Look at Fauna being a whole cutie. I changed my mind. I'm keeping Fauna forever. Whether she likes it or not. Aw, look. She's gone. I hope she's having safe travels to wherever she's going to. <laughs> she's definitely going somewhere and not ending up in the void. <laughs> My friend recently did a video where she villager hunted and she would like roast them. I kind of want to do that too. 
Oh wait, hold on, hold on. I don't have a vaulting pole. I don't have a vaulting pole. Hopefully we're lucky and we don't need a vaulting pole. Oh, I can make one, right? Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> okay, first villager. We gotta thank good thoughts. They have to be cute. If they're not, if they're not cute, there's gonna be a problem. <laughs> Guys, who even likes the birds in Animal Crossing? <gasps> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna rank them. Ace? is definitely somebody who's just like always judging you and always a hater you know what i mean just look at those eyes and he's blushing on top of that he's like one of those people who's like really mean to you but they like you yeah i don't like ace sorry if i'm grading ace ace is definitely like a d like i wouldn't give them an f because they didn't fail but they definitely like they didn't do well either so ace is a d no offense i shouldn't talk to him because i have a theory that if i interact with like a certain species i will get more of that species so we'll test that theory today we had a rough start we had a rocky start <laughs> we had a traumatic actually it wasn't traumatic because there's oh i should get a molting pole bro am i dumb sister fruit island it's a good vibe island because i love pears they're so cute and they taste so good oh no see i told you i talked to the bird and now i'm getting a penguin they're similar they have beaks there is a science to it i'm not even gonna bother talking to him because i don't want to attract more bird-like species you know what i mean <sighs> okay boomer is getting a c boomer is overall cute penguins are cute but why is boomer that poo poo green color if you're gonna take creative liberties with a penguin's color why pick that color it doesn't doesn't even have anything to do with planes because he's supposed to be i don't know based off <laughs> based off like a pilot or something why are you that color is it because you're old you know because that gives me like an old color like it was started off as like a lime green and over time it turned that color if that was the vision i see it and i understand it okay boomer is a little cute i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna stop looking at him before i take him home boomer gets a c from me my theory about having less Nook Mile tickets was definitely a lie, so I'm gonna grab another stack so I don't have to come out here. And I'm not getting like a ladder because I'm not trying to deal with that. I just have this and I think that should be enough, right? I hope so. So here's my plan. Once I run out of all the tickets that I have in my inventory, I'm just gonna grab the villagers I want from a treasure island, you know? If you have Nintendo online, you should just go to treasure islands. That's my opinion. Oh, peaches. Oh, that's my native fruit. Never mind. Oh. I love the monkeys, but this one in particular, why is she that pee pee green color? And I love green. I'm a green lover, but that green I don't get. I mean, I do get it for a monkey because, you know, some monkeys have like a light fur that can kind of look green, I guess. But if they're dirty, I guess. And she has a pink. Is that her butt? Are you freaking kidding me? She has a hot pink bottom? First of all, I didn't even know monkeys had butts. I thought it was a gorilla thing. It's such a weird thing, but I kind of... <laughs> I kind of think it's a little cute. If I find Nana on this villager hunt, I'm probably gonna take her. But anyways, El Elise, I really want to give her an F. Because I, why is her bottom bright pink? Anyways, <laughs> I don't want to talk about monkey butts no more. <laughs> I'm gonna move on with my life, wash my eyeballs, <laughs> and go home. She gets an F. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to the Elise fans. She's giving grandma energy. She looks like a little grandma. I do not want to see grandma butt. <laughs> We're gonna try again. Wait, I should have talked to Elise because I want Nana. <sighs> Nana's not even on my dreamy list, but I see her on my island thriving. So if I see Nana, I'm sorry, I just added her to my dream list. She's definitely gonna come on my island. One of my friends, he has an island called Banana and he has Nana on his Banana Island. <laughs> it's so cute. So Nana from Banana. That's adorable. I know it's Nana, but I'm gonna call her Nana in reference to the anime, you know what I mean? I'm making my boyfriend watch Nana because he always shows me- I think I've talked about this on my channel before. He always makes me watch the most depressing ass shit. Oh my goodness, can I get somebody cute? What the f- I think his name is Angus, right? Like Angus Beef, which is- It's kind of like messed up, but it's also respectable because at least I know some thought process went behind this villager. <laughs> the flaming hot t-shirt is a little messed up too. So those two things like bring the points up. So he's at a C tier. Other than that, honestly, he has no redeeming qualities. I wish it was like brown, like Angus beef brown or pink or something like that. The orange color, I don't, it's not giving Angus. Also, I have like a personal vendetta against orange. I don't know why I just don't like orange.
cringe it does nothing for me it enrages me actually and like what is up with his hair why is it gray why is your hair gray i do like the little lashes on the bottom though so i guess i'll give him a c plus a solid c plus because he has a funny name and he has a sense of style you know the flaming hot t-shirt is giving guy fieri who is you know some may say an icon in fashion compared to the other bulls he's a b minus okay i you can find me later <laughs> please don't next what island are we on i want to say it's our fifth island i could be wrong i think it's the fifth island no we're on our wait what the frick what is going on okay we're on our fifth island i was right <laughs> my goodness give me an award <gasps> is this tybalt oh tybalt is adorable i love tybalt tybalt is such a cutie Ugh. okay so when i first played animal crossing he was my starting jock and he's like the most perfect jock there's nothing wrong with him solid b tier i'm docking points for the eyebrows i mean he is like a tiger so you need to look angry he's just so cute i love the little pink in the ears too Mwah, chef's kiss i i don't like what he's wearing and i love his little paws oh so cute yeah he has a special place in my heart and this might just be like biased he's a solid b you know not b plus not b minus but b you know because he is a little boring <laughs> he's a little boring besides the fact that he's a tiger nothing about him screams like oh i should have you on my island like, I feel like he's very forgettable. I think that's the word. So I guess I should dock him down to C. Am I a tough grader? I've only gotten, like, ugly villagers. So I'm not a tough grader, okay? I'm just unlucky. I just remembered I should have talked to Tybalt so then I get Claudia. I'm already tired of villager hunting. literally what the f sorry sorry <laughs> she is so cute i love marcy look at her eyes <gasps> i'm so happy and like her baby is the same way she has orange hair though it's okay i live with it i move to my island <laughs> marcy is a solid a look at those eyelashes look at the eyes she's like a cute girl with blush <laughs> look at her bright white y2k eyeshadow too pouches i don't like her catchphrase i don't like it but you know i would live with it is that a ladybug what the hell i've never seen a ladybug before look at her she is so cute oh that angle isn't great i'm so happy i found her because i was thinking about giving her a cute little daycare <laughs> I'm ready to go home. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go home and then we're gonna time travel forward 30 days and try to kick somebody else out. That was really fast, guys. One villager down. We got Marcy. I can cross her off my list. We're on our beautiful island. Also, look at how barren this freaking half of my island is. Slay. That was so great. I love it when things work out for me. Stitches is so freaking cute. Hold on. Oh my goodness. I love Stitches. Anyways, Stitches is orange. And I've been talking about how much I hate orange. But you know Stitches? He has an exception because he is adorable. You're next. <laughs> you better watch out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I don't know. He might be next. <laughs> I'll be right back when I find a thought bubble. <laughs> After a lot of suffering, I'm back with a thought bubble, okay? Uh, Marlo finally got a thought bubble. So yeah, we're gonna kick him out. <laughs> I was really desperate. I'll be cheering you on, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna time travel to when I have an Oppen oh Oppenheimer. I'm gonna time travel to when I have an Oppenheimer plot. Not an open plot. Great. I've kicked out Marlo now, but I do kind of feel sad. He was a little grandpa. Oh my god, this is so annoying. I thought I would just have an open plot because I time travel for over two days. But you have to say bye to your stupid villager. Marlo, I'm over it. Go home, Marlo. No offense. The next day. Okay, great. So we're just gonna start villager hunting. First ticket of the second villager hunt in this video. Let's have a moment and think about good things so that we get a cute new villager. Wouldn't it be crazy if like the first ticket is another dreamy? That would be crazy. <laughs> Boomer again? That's a little desperate. I already graded him. I think we gave him a C. I think we gave him a C. I don't remember though. I hope it was a C. But you know, I'm gonna bring his grade down to a D. Because being desperate is never a good look. I'm just kidding. I think he's a C still. He needs to freaking get a life and leave me the freak alone. <sighs> Anyways, next island. Second island. Hopefully it's somebody that's not Boomer. <laughs> that would be great. I think it's because Boomer heard me calling him cute. So he 
He's like, maybe I have a chance. No, sir. Oh, uh, it's Fang. Is that Fang? Yeah, I think his name is Fang, which is such a cool name. I used to read this book called Maximum Ride. I think that's what it was called. It's like a story about these kids who were like science experiments. They were like human bird hybrids. And there was this one guy named Fang. He was pretty cool. That's all I'm gonna say. Also, I didn't read the book version. I read the manga or the graphic novel version. The art was just really cute. I don't know what happened in the end. I don't know where the storyline goes. I don't even remember the last thing I read. I think I just liked it because it was people with wings. And I like wings. I think they're cool. Okay, third island. Oh, I didn't give Fang a grade. Okay, okay, sorry. I'm so sorry. That was so rude of me. We're gonna give Fang a grade right now. Fang, cool name. Cool wool, cool colors. I think he has purple eyeshadow, which I like. I think he's a solid B. You know, he's giving a little boring. Kind of like Tibble is just like the most normal wolf. He's kind of forgettable, no offense. He just has a cool name. Yeah. Fang gets a B. Let's see who's here. Oh, it's that island. The island you have to- Oh, it's a doggy. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. I have to grade her. What's this dog's name? Porsche or something? Portia? Hello? Okay, so Portia. I think that's her name. I don't want to talk to her because I actually, no, I do want dogs. So let me talk to her. Portia. It's a cool name. She has a cute little eyeliner going on. I don't like what she's wearing. It's giving business and you're on vacation. You know what I mean? You're on a vacation, Nook Miles Island. You should not be dressed like you're in a meeting. So I'm gonna dock off points for that. Like, Portia is cute, but she's just kind of there. Also, she has like yellow eyeballs. And I know Olivia has yellow eyeballs, but Olivia is cute as fuck. But Portia? Why are your eyeballs yellow? Isn't there a thing like if your dog's eyes start turning yellow? It's a bad sign, because I'm not trying to depress anybody here. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. One redeeming quality. Wait, I can't see her. Oh, she has cute little pink paws. That's adorable. Hold on. I want to see if she has, like, spots on both her knees. Ma'am, why- get away from the water. I'm gonna turn her fire off, because I'm getting so irritated. I'm just trying to see your freaking knees. Show me your knees. I'm so freaking annoyed right now. Bro. <sighs> you know what? I think this qualifies as a point drop because why is she so disobedient? Dogs are supposed to be obedient. They're supposed to be well trained. And she is she is not giving that at all. Oh, oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so she has two spots on both knees, but they're not symmetrical. I kinda like it. I think I like it. So I think it brings her score back up. So I think Portia is a solid C. All the just like regular schmegular animals that just look like animals and don't give anything else are c's <laughs> don't hate me if portia is your favorite villager please um she's cute she's cute hmm i don't see anything oh it's pashmina oh sorry <laughs> sorry girly <laughs> pashmina is cute i love that sweater she's wearing it's the cutest thing about her, honestly, is the sweater she's wearing. Wait, no, Pashmina is cute. Pashmina is cute. I take that back. You know, I don't understand the blue horns. Why is the waterfall so loud, bro? I'm gonna move away. Anyways, like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by the waterfall. Okay, she's giving me side eye and walking away. So I'm gonna dock a point because... Anyways, <laughs> I like Pashmina. She has very cute features. Her eyeliner on point. The bangs, I really like how they're done. They're done tastefully and they don't look cringe. She looks actually adorable. You know, I was kind of going into this thinking that Pashmina was like overhyped because everybody loves her. I don't think I've ever heard anybody say Pashmina is not cute and i was gonna be the first one but i am not somebody has to be the first one to not like pashmina because i like her i'm sorry i'm like everybody else she gets a b because i have nothing bad to say about it, except her horns it's a quirky turkey thing about her it works but at the same time it does nothing for me like i don't like blue so it's not doing anything for me if you like blue you might love her you know what i mean but for me personally she is a b I think that's pretty good. B minus for the way she was looking at me. Great. Off to the next one. I went to an estate sale one time. Well, twice. And I was just looking around, you know? I wasn't in a mood to shop. And I was like, it would be crazy if I found something Hello Kitty related. And look what I found. Do you see it? It's literally a freaking Hello Kitty bookmark. And she's a ballerina. I mean, I did wash it. 
like rigorously afterwards so like i don't know she looks a little you know like she's been through the ringer because she literally has but i still think it's cute so yeah i was squishing her so i figured i'll just put her here anyways who do you think is on this island i think i see them oh my goodness it's a freaking elephant i should talk to them because i want an elephant it's the uncomfortable elephant axel looks like he's like hiding a secret and he doesn't know how to lie so he's trying to act normal <laughs> but he's making that face axel is giving bad liar look at this face i'm sorry i'm sorry axel you're definitely getting a d bro the amount of teeth he has is really making me uncomfortable because it's like all the way here wait does his belly jiggle i think his belly freaking jiggles when he walks <gasps> shut up I, that's really cute i love that bro i hate these villagers how they have sentience can you just stay please Look, his shirt is like jiggling. Oh, Wait, am I just hallucinating or does he jiggle? I don't freaking know. If he jiggles, he gains a point in my book. So he was a D. So now he's a solid C. Because at least he has a storyline. You know, some villagers are giving no storyline, but they look really weird. At least with Axel, he's giving you like, I'm a bad liar. You know? But yeah, the amount of teeth he has, I'm going to give him a C minus. Almost a D. Like the lowest C you can give somebody before it's a D, but not a D, you know what I mean? Because he's still cute, you know? Anyway, sorry Axel, I have to leave you behind. Island number- I don't know, I lost count. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh my goodness, it's Billy Goat. Hmm. Billy is interesting to say the least, honestly. I'm just gonna like stalk him from here. I think Billy is cute because he gives you old man energy. You get the old man energy really well okay but is old man energy always good energy questionable you know there's some things about him that i have heard that he has a weird interior that makes me not like him. <laughs> like i want to be away from him because it's giving creepy old man energy you know what i mean and creepy old men are the worst type of old men Ooh. For me personally, character design wise, I think there's nothing to really complain about besides that he's orange. But other than the fact that he's orange, he's adorable. But it's his like, ooh, 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 he, he ooh. Sorry, he came a little too close. He came a little too close. I have to go away. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That was a little too close for comfort. I will look at him from the comfort of this big ass river between us. Anyways, so what's the grade I'm giving him, you ask? I think, like, if I knew nothing about him, I would give him a solid C. But since I've heard those things through the grapevine, I want to give him a D. But like a D plus. But he's not an ugly villager. You know, he's kind of a cutie. If I started off with Billy, I would be happy because he's a cute little goat. And I love goats. They're adorable. Yeah, I'll give him like a solid D plus. Like he's not horrible, but also like I need like a 10 foot radius away from him at all times. I've never given anybody an A and I'm definitely not giving him an A, but I'm just like, damn, am I going to ever get good villagers on this freaking villager hunt? Except Marcy. <laughs> Marcy was an A. Oh my god, side note. I didn't even mention the best part about this Hello Kitty thingy. I didn't even have to pay for it. I just went up to the lady who was running the estate sale and I was like, I want this. And she was like, just take it. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> so I got it for free. I think the estate sale, like it was like a little shop. Estate sale shop or like an antique. I don't freaking know. So they were like closing down. So they were trying to like sell furniture. <laughs> and I always would go up there looking for Hello Kitty. So I think they were just like, just take it. <laughs> we're trying to get rid of everything. So I wonder though, I wonder what the Hello Kitty collection was like before I got to see it. You know what I mean? Anyways, back to the villager hunt. Hopefully somebody cute here. Please, God. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I hate birds. Who the freak thought it'd be a good idea to have birds on this island? Who is this bird though? Oh, okay. Crop top. Crop top. <laughs> okay. Aw, she has high cheekbones because you can see that little bit of, you know, highlight. She's a 2016 makeup girly. Because look, she has a crop top on. She has blue hair. You know, Kylie Jenner with her blue hair era. And she also has like blinding highlighter. So she is giving bad bitch energy. Oh my god, excuse me, tree. And for that reason, she belongs in the B minus tier. I think B is kind of generous for her, if I'm being honest, but I gotta support my makeup girlies, okay? We need to bring back 2016 makeup. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I think she belongs in the C tier, but I just wanna be nice, cause at least she has like a storyline that I made up in my head. A B minus, but it's almost a C, you know what I mean? 
it's like a high C. So you just round up and you're like, it's a B. Like a 79.9. It's still a C, but you tell your parents like, oh my God, I got a B. So that's what I will give her, you know? But I give her permission to round up. Great. I would be a great teacher, honestly. I'm going back to the estate sale. Hello kitties. What if they're haunted? Haunted Hello Kitties. That would be so cute. Imagine they come to life when I'm not looking. I will cry. That would be so cute. I want that. I hope they're Actually, no, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I need holy water or something. <laughs> if we don't get a cutie here, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Whoa, that's a huge fish. Oh. Oh, is it Naomi? <gasps> I like her. <laughs> I'm trying to convince myself that I like her because we have the same name. But oh my god, I gotta be honest with you guys. She is so fugly, bro. Ugh, okay, okay. Let me see. She's like hiding because she knows she's about to get roasted by me. Hold on. Naomi, stay here. Excuse me. Wait, wh what if I talk to her? Oh, what a lovely name you have there. <laughs> okay, hear me out. Her blush, blush placement is high key giving. Her bangs, she kind of looks like me. Wait a minute, her blush and her bangs. Wait a minute. And then she has like crazy red eyes, but I feel like it's like eyeshadow. Cause look, her eyeshadow matches her hooves and her little tail, which isn't always done. So we gotta give her points for coordination. Like she knows how to put an outfit together. So you know, <laughs> you know she can't be in the F tier. D tier? I think she is a solid D tier contender. It's so hard getting villagers to freaking- Oh, actually, you know what guys? Is she horrendous to look at? She's rude. Excuse me, bro. What are these frames? Anyways, why are they all- all the villagers are like running away from the camera. Ma'am. Ma'am. She doesn't want to be on screen. I get it. You know, if I look like her, I wouldn't want to be on screen either. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Like, she's cute, but I can't defend her, bro. <laughs> Not with that face. Oh my gosh. I will continue my thoughts when we're off this island. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I think Naomi, she's in the D tier. Honestly, she should be in the F tier. No offense. No offense. But I'm gonna put her in the D tier because we have the same name. So that honestly gives her like 20 points. If her name was like Sasha or if Sam Samantha, she would be in the F tier. It's her name that saved her. So lucky for her, I guess. I'm glad we figured that out. Sorry, I couldn't say all that because I was being harassed, mauled by the wasps. But we made it out unscathed. Okay, next island. We keep it moving, you know what I mean? Hopefully we don't run into any other ugly villagers. Okay, we're here. And oh, it's so lay. Oh my goodness, hello? Why is she so low to the ground, ma'am? Okay. Half of this video is just gonna be me trying to get these freaking villagers at a good angle. She has cute eyeballs. But just something about her is giving Cheeto, you know what I mean? And I don't appreciate that. Um, I like her little wrists, how they're green, they have that accent of green. Oh look, a bottle. Sorry, if the bottle is more interesting than you are, that says a lot. Ugh. She is in the D tier too. I feel like that's being generous. I wanna put her in the F tier, but I'm like, she's not super horrible i do think it's kind of cute how her ears are different colors but i don't like the colors i do like her eyes the lashes are cute but it's just giving cheeto energy and she's orange and she's doing too much and i don't like it i don't like her so she's a low d d minus 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 anyways that was a waste of a ticket in my opinion Alrighty. i love it when they just walk on screen and i have to do no work oh my gosh I think she's kind of cute because she's wearing a watermelon shirt, but that's honestly it. I'm sorry. I feel like she straight to the D tier. I don't even have to like say anything. Just look at her. I do like her buck teeth and I do like her little cheeks. That's literally it. So I guess she's D plus. Great. She's not the ugliest villager, but you know, she's not far away from the ugliest villager. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know this is like a common feeling in the Animal Crossing community, but I hate how the dialogue for the dodo fucking birds never changes. The dialogue is like so unnecessary. It's like a tutorial dialogue, like unnecessary information. I'm on a mission. I don't have time to chit chat with everybody. Is this Soleil again? You know, if I get repeats, I'm gonna put them in the F tier. Except Boomer. Boomer was cute. <sighs> 
hope a coconut falls on our head. Anyways, I think she was already low D tier. I'm not gonna move her to the F tier, but I am tempted to. Hopefully this is my time to get a dreamy, you know? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about Claudia. I'm thinking about Lucky. I'm thinking about Tia. Okay, we're here. <laughs> Ew, it's Lobo. Is that his name? Lobo's ugly. I'm not gonna even lie to you. But the name is cute. Uh, but the eyes kind of throw me off, you know? Like, the eyes are giving, like, a two-year-old drew them. Lobo does not do anything for me. He confuses me, I guess. He's a wolf. So wolves are already superior, kind of, sort of. So I guess he's, like, a C-. minus. Yeah, he's C minus. Unimpressive, honestly. Forgettable. But not the ugliest either. I have another theory. I think if I say lucky, 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 lucky around my controller, maybe they will hear me and send me lucky. Like, see if it works. <gasps> I respect Sprocket, but he is not my aesthetic, but he is respectable. I love the little numbers on the back of his head. That's such a cute detail. I love that I'm talking about him and he's literally hiding behind a freaking tree. Whoa. Like, he's, he's a cute ostrich. If I had to pick one ostrich that's memorable, it's Sprocket and Rio. Um, don't like the orange shirt, but it does match the orange on the back of his head. Which is coordination, so he gets points for that. I think Sprocket is a solid B, you know? He doesn't do much for me, but I respect you if you have Sprocket on your island and you have like a cyberpunk ro robot. <laughs> robot themed island. I respect the design. I have another theory that if you wear the Sanrio clothes, maybe you'll get cute villagers because you know Sanrio is already associated with cuteness. So if I tell the game, hey, I'm wearing these cute things from Sanrio, hopefully I can not want to kill my- No, I'm kidding. <laughs> hopefully the game will understand and lessen my suffering. Should I try that out? I don't want to change my outfit mid-video. That's weird. So luckily for me, <laughs> in this ice cream machine we can change our clothes here so it's really easy peasy lemon squeezy i'll wear the karopi boots you know i don't know oh i have these my melody boots sorry my melody boots are cuter and i have kiki and lala socks somewhere okay so i can wear these caro caro okay Caro Caro Karopi pin. Is that a typo? I'm wearing a Karopi pin. Why is it? Why is it? Why is it like that? Anyways. Or I have a Hello Kitty hat. I like the Hello Kitty hat, but where did my hair go? Why am I bald now? I should wear a rain coat thing because it's raining. Or this. This is giving. Okay, I'll come back after I pick my outfit. Okay, that didn't take super long, but I think I'm wearing this. I'm wearing a, a whole Sanrio fit, so if I don't get a cute villager. <laughs> Olivia, are you trying to leave? Excuse me, ma'am. You better go back. You better not leave. Oh! <gasps> Dang, she got mad at me really fast. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I changed my outfit, guys. Hopefully it does something. Let's see. All my theories thus far have been incorrect so hopefully the cute outfit will save me here okay okay moment of truth if there's not a cute villager here there's gonna be a problem i hate when you have to look for villagers i don't know it stresses me out where is this villager <gasps> okay okay it's annalise i think that's her name <gasps> Wait, she is considered a cute villager, right? Because she has pink hair and a flower and pink eyelashes. Oh, she doesn't have pink eyelashes. They're orange eyelashes, which is kind of random. But I still think she's a solid horse. I love the horses in this game, but I don't like horses in general. So she is really cute. I think this theory works, guys. I mean, okay, for Annalise, I think she's cute. I think she's A-worthy. I think so. If she showed up on my island, I would enjoy having her on my island. She's a cutie patootie. Annalise is a solid villager, and I'm so happy to be blessed by her presence. Hopefully the next villager is something I want. I wonder, had I seen Annalise, if I wasn't wearing my cute outfit, would I still think she's cute? I think it's like a placebo, because I think that I'm wearing an outfit that's cute and supposed to attract cute villagers. I think it's a cool- I don't know. I think I'm just like going a little crazy. <laughs> Losing my sanity just a little bit. Okay, the next island is gonna solidify if this theory is correct or not here we go here we go we're gonna see if my theory works or not hopefully it does <gasps> wolf gang i'm getting a lot of wolves 
This is a problem because if I run into Sky, <laughs> that's gonna be a problem. Okay, Wolfgang is cute. Okay, not for me, but he's a solid villager. Can I see your face, sir? Oh my gosh, he's shy. I love the eyeliner. Orange eyeshadow, questionable. But I think it matches the teal color that he is, you know? It looks cool. Wolfgang is also like an iconic name if you're a wolf, you know what I mean? Because that's like a human being named human or homo erectus. Are we homo? No, we're homo sapiens. Oh my goodness. We're homo sapiens. <laughs> but we're humans. I mean, we're not calling wolves like their Latin name. So that's like a human being named human something. So that's a pretty cool name, I feel like. I've been playing this game for too long. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, I think Wolfgang is a solid B. He's not horrible. He has a really interesting name. I still have yet to figure out if this theory is working or not. Third time's the charm. So third island since I changed it to my Hello Kitty Sanrio themed outfit. So we're gonna test. This is the final test to see if wearing Hello Kitty clothes or whatever will help you get cuter villagers. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Theory canceled. It doesn't work. It does not work. Mission abort. She has a menace. I can understand why people don't like her. Cause it's like so disappointing seeing such an ugly villager and you're spending a Nook Mile ticket on them. I might as well burn the ticket. I'm just kidding. But yeah, we already know she's low D. The only reason she's in the D category is cause we share a name. <sighs> well, I'm kind of bummed. The theory doesn't work. At least I can take off the hat and not look like a bald person. <laughs> Maybe four times the charm and I already see it. It's a freaking chicken. Oh my god. Chickens aren't even considered animals, guys. They're literally food. Chickens are not animals. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's messed up. Okay, so I always talk about this. My boyfriend is obsessed with chickens, so I have a lot of unnecessary knowledge about chickens that I really don't need to have in my brain, but I do. Ava's a cute chicken. Okay, if we're talking chickens, Ava is pretty cute. But you know, there aren't any ugly chickens. I like her eyeballs. They're cute. I like her pink thingy majiki here. The little scales, the dinosaur scales. <gasps> Is that why chickens are considered dinosaurs? Because they have that little thingy majiki here that Yoshi has? I don't know what it's called. I think she's a C. She does nothing for me. Sorry, she's just a solid C. <laughs> I'm ready to go home. Imagine you say no wait when you're being chased by wasps. This game is setting you up for failure. Lobo again. Oh my god, I'm getting duplicates. <laughs> I'm stressing out. I'm stressing out. This is horrible. Oh yeah, we already graded Lobo. He is unimpressive. I think I gave him a C. Maybe a D. I'm gonna move his grade down to a D. If I gave him a C last time, that was too generous of me. Alrighty, we're here. <gasps> it's Eloise. The only reason Eloise is memorable to me is because she was like the first person who you make a house for in Happy Home Paradise. But honestly, if she didn't have that, would we even like recognize her or remember her? <sighs> I'm sorry, she's in D category. Cause she has she's a cute yellow, but her ears are green. It's giving like ear wax. And the tip of your nose is green. It's giving nose boogers. It's giving unhygienic. Sorry. And her bangs are making me unnecessarily angry. So I'm so sorry. She's a solid D. Don't hate me if you're an Eloise fan. I'm just a girl. <laughs> Wait, I have to talk to her. She's an elefante. And we have to talk to Elefantes because we want Tia. Oh, she has a cute voice. Maybe she's a D plus. Great. Blah. The nose boogers and earwax needs to get checked out. Sorry. Ticket number, I have no freaking idea. Let's just hope. Let's just hope it's a dreamy. Oh, what island is this? This is cute. <gasps> it's Margie. Oh, she is so cute. Margie is a solid A. She's an A plus, in fact. He is giving character. You know what I mean? And it's done tastefully. Like, you know, she has a lot going on, but it's still consistent. Like the yellow and the red is consistent through her head, her ears, her arms and legs, and even her tail. Cohesive. She is A plus. Like her little cheeks are pink and the tip of her nose is pink. It's so cute. It's so cute. I mean, I have no complaints with Margie. I'm not taking her though. <laughs> I want to. Margie is 100%. A plus. Plus. 
Okay, I think, I don't know if I'm Lulu de Lulu, <laughs> but I think, I don't know which theory is working. I don't know if it's the outfit. My villagers are starting to get progressively cuter. Or if it's like talking to like the same species and then you get more of the species, you know? I don't know which one it is, <laughs> but it's kind of working. Hopefully this one's an elephant too. Hopefully it's Tia. Alexi. <gasps> Ew. <laughs> okay, you know what? <laughs> That's enough of the game for me today. This game has traumatized me enough. Is Hans traumatizing worthy though? I don't think so. Hans is a cool design. He is literally a yeti. Like he's cool. And I like yetis. Let me show you. I have a yeti here somewhere. Look at my little yeti plush. Isn't it? Oh, where did he go? Hello? Hans? 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 The fire looks pink, that's cool. Where is this villager? Oh my goodness. Okay, look, look, Hans and my little plushie. Twins, literally twins. Um, so it's not that I hate Hans, you know? Hans is a cute gorilla. In fact, he might be my favorite gorilla. And I think he doesn't have a butt. Automatically, I feel like for the gorillas, automatically he should be in the A tier. You know what I mean? He doesn't, he doesn't have traumatizing butt cheeks that all the gorillas do. Yeah, he has no butt cheeks. Just kiss. That's perfect to me. And I'm gonna put him in the A tier for not having butt cheeks because when gorillas have butt cheeks, even the monkeys, when they have butt cheeks, automatically I'm traumatized. Hans is a solid villager. And if you have Hans on your island, I would like to visit your island. A minus tier because of his nose. It's giving oink oink. I don't like it. Okay, say goodbye to the Yeti. Bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> I'm gonna put him here in honor of Hans. So happy that Hans had no butt cheeks. I feel like I want to live now. I want to start living again. <laughs> no oh no. I should talk to this dog because I want Lucky. I don't know if it's Bia or B, but B. I think I'm going to call her Bia because if it was B, it would just be B E E. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what her name is, but I've seen people call her B, so I don't want to be dumb. <laughs> Anyways, this dog is giving regular shemegular dog. Actually, she's giving e-girl e-girl dog because of that blush or she's cold or maybe she's sick in that case i should probably move away from her but it's, it's just a lot of blush you know i can relate and she's automatically like i was gonna put her in the c category because she's just giving dog she's not giving like anything else you know what i mean but if it's like she put on too much blush relatable so i'll put her in b minus category great b minus B minus, 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 minus. She's kind of boring, no offense. Alrighty, guys, we're here. Interessant. Bro, who is on this freaking island? Hello? <gasps> Ew, I, I hate, hate, I hate this villager. I hate her so much. She is so ugly. I'm so sorry. She is so ugly. It looks like she literally has like huge zits on her cheeks. I look at her and I'm like, damn, you need to pop those. Like I get the urge to pop them. Like I know they were trying to do like a blush thing with her cheek. But why does it look like there's literally like a pimple with the white stuff showing, you know? Like they need to be popped. She is F tier. I'm so sorry. She is lower than F. She is traumatic tier. Okay, I want to get off this island. <laughs> I don't want a pimple. Oh, we have Ozzy. Is that his name? Oh, this is definitely Ozzy. I was right. <laughs> he just gives me like creepy energy. Like why are you smiling like that? And he has that nose. He's gonna sniff out your secret. <laughs> He reminds me of something that I can't put my finger on, like the eyes. Oh my god, don't come near me. Please! I'm gonna take this bottle, and I'm gonna head out of here. Honestly, I feel like I should put him in F tier. I don't know if it's because he's the next villager after Candy who traumatized me, but I, f I don't know, he's giving F energy vibes. Like realistically, if he showed up on my island, I would be upset. I'm sorry, koalas are a really hard animal to mess up, and they did it. Yeah. I don't know what it is about Ozzy. It doesn't sit right with me. So I'm gonna put him in the F tier. I'm sorry to any Ozzy fans. I don't know why he just creeps me out. Why does he look like that? It might be my leftover feelings from seeing Candy, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you don't agree with this decision, blame Candy, honestly. Okay, I think the effects of seeing Candy is wearing off. So hopefully we get a cutie on this island. Oh no. <laughs> Anacati was like a villager I had on my very first Animal Crossing 
Galaxy Island when I really didn't know that you could villager hunt. And she was like the first pet bee I got. So I mean, I kind of have like a soft spot for her. But it's also like, she's really ugly. I'm sorry. She looks like a booger. She looks like a hairy booger. <sighs> she is traumatizing me. Should I also put her in the trauma tier? No, my, my like feeling... My reaction to her isn't like visceral, you know? So I'm gonna put her in the F tier. Oh my goodness. It's... What's her name? I like her. She's kind of cool. I like how her beak and her feet are red. You know, that's very different. And I like her bottom lashes. She looks very cool. Her catchphrase is chickadee, which I hate. She's an Aries. Mm, I should take off points for that. No, I'm kidding. I don't know much about horoscope. She's probably my favorite bird. If I were to pick a bird, I would probably pick her. But I mean, that's not saying much because I don't like birds in this game that much. No, my favorite bird is Midge. What am I talking about? Oh, wait, I like Twiggy. Twiggy is my favorite bird. Sorry, enough about birds. Piper is a solid B. Oh my goodness. It's this ugly ass hamster. What's his name? Hamfrey? I mean, his colors are cute. I like the blue, black, and pink color palette he has going on. So I will give him credit for that, you know? It's just the expression. He has resting annoying face. Like, he just looks like he's annoying. You know what I mean? His catchphrase is literally snort. I told you, he looks like somebody who would snort. He does. He has resting snort face. Sorry, so I think I'm gonna put him in a D tier. I would be kind of mad if he moved to my island, but he has a nice color palette, so he's a D plus. Cause I like blue, pink, and black. So yeah, great. Let me get out of this island. Okay, <laughs> island. God knows what. And I see him. It's the freaking kangaroo. I kind of like this kangaroo. His name is Walt. I think he's cool. I don't need any more kangaroos on my island though. His phrase is pockets <laughs> okay i think he looks cool because he has a little scar on his face i don't know if you guys have ever seen walt up close he's a cool looking kangaroo he looks like he's been through some shit you know he's seen some stuff i thought he had a scar maybe it's on his other side sir can you turn around he looks so angry too oh yeah he has a little scar under his eye do you see that that's pretty cool that's pretty cool i think just for that he has to be in the b tier he has to be in the b tier it's giving character. Like, how did he get that scar? You want to know how he got those scars? This is becoming a long villager hunt. If, like, how many tickets do I have? 15 more tickets. I think after this one, so it's an even number, I'm just gonna freaking go to a treasure island and try to kick somebody else so lame. She traumatized me. She's moving down to the trauma. <laughs> She's moving down to the trauma unit. I'm gonna use five more tickets. And if I get ugly villagers, I'm getting some villager from a treasure island. This is serious. Fuck so late. I'm tired of ugly villagers. It's kind of rude. Oh my goodness. The fact that I even have to look at him is making me upset. <laughs> he has the same nose contour as me. Okay. For that, I have to give him points. I do the same shit to my nose. Um, other than that, he is giving me nothing. He has little paws. That's cute. I feel like I wasted a ticket. Like, why do I even have to look at you? I don't even know his name. I don't even want to know. He gets an F from me for wasting my time. I hope the tears are making sense. I don't know what I'm doing. What's his name? Like, Curly? Carlos? Carlos? His fur is interesting and that's like different. Like, oh, his face is kind of cute. He has a cute face. Oh. He's giving like ditzy and I like that. That's it. He belongs in C tier for being different. C tier is me being generous, okay? I just burned my entire roof of my mouth because I drank my tea too hot. PSA, don't do that. Alrighty guys, and it's clay. I know people love clay, I don't see it. Is there something I'm missing? Why do we like clay? I don't get it. Like, I understand he's cute. And I do like his eyes, how they're all blacked out. I think that's pretty cool. I mean, I don't get it. But I respect it from a distance. Huh? I don't know if that's the right word. I just like when villagers are thought out. And I feel like he's thought out. I'm just missing something, you know? So I'll put him in the C tier. Okay. One more ticket after this. Oh my goodness. I feel a little traumatized, okay? I do. But I respect that he has a theme. But the Vikings were horrible. My boyfriend's watching Midland Saga, and one thing he's told me is the Vikings were brutal. So I'm putting him in the D tier, okay? Because yeah, he has a theme, but it's a horrible theme. <laughs> D tier. Okay, next. Okay, guys. 
last island before I get some... Oh, okay. Oh, it's Bangle. She's cute. Bangle is cute. But I wish her stripes weren't... Is she leaving? <laughs> Ma'am, are you leaving? I didn't invite you to come with me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Aw, Bangle is cute. She wants to come home with me. Aww. Solid B tier. I think the yellow stripes are a little weird. But her eyes are so cute and big. And she has cute little pink paws. And she just looks like a happy little tiger. She's giving little kitty energy. And I love it. And on that note, we're gonna go to a little treasure island and get Claudia. <laughs> because I'm tired. I'm sick of this shit. So BRB. <laughs> a BRB when I get Claudia, I guess. I'm excited! Hey guys, <laughs> 10 hours later, I got another thought bubble after I moved in Claudia from the treasure island. Thank god it's Nan. <laughs> Thank god. Listen to your heart, Nan. Deuces. <clears throat> Let me show you Claudia. She has been such, such a pleasure to have on my island. This is her hot ass house. Look at how cute it is. The colors are giving, I don't know about the materials. It's giving industrial, you know, which is not slay. But Claudia is literally so cute. I also figured I'm gonna keep Chrissy because although Ruby is really cute, Chrissy just matches the vibe of my island better. So here's the deal. Nan's about to move out. And then you can see my villagers are kind of sort of like coming together. I think Fauna does stick out, which is unfortunate. Maybe I could kick out Fauna and get Ruby. But I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see how I'm feeling. Look at Claudia. Look at her, she is adorable. I love her. To oh my goodness. Sorry, I meant to take a photo. This is so embarrassing. She better not get up from the bench. I will be upset. Oh my gosh, sunbathing. Queen. I love her. She is everything. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I have 10 tickets. So I guess to kick Nan out, I will spend 10 tickets. And then if I don't find anybody cute in 10 tickets, I'm going to a treasure island girl because I am just a girl. Why are there so many flowers? Because I've been time traveling a lot. And look at Marcy, looking adorable as ever. Anyways, I'm gonna come back when there's an empty plot. We have a visitor in the campsite when we have an empty plot. So let's see who it is. Hopefully it's a cutie <laughs> and I don't have to go to the front. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Imagine it's lucky. Luckily for everybody, my campsite is literally right here. I hope it's a cutie. <laughs> If it's not a cutie, I'm gonna patootie myself. Oh! No! If I were to rank him, he's traumatic. He needs to be contained. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> he's horrible and ugly. Sorry. You can see all the mess behind me. Let's change that. So, that was a traumatic experience. Let's never talk about that again. We have an open plot. So let's go villager hunting. Also, I changed my outfit again. <laughs> Cause it's always raining. I don't want my character to get a little cold. So, you know, we have to look out for her health. She's been overexerting herself today. Going to Treasure Islands, going to Nook Mile Islands. She's been doing a lot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just, I did not like the outfit I was wearing. It was actually bothering me. First island, if it's Boomer again, I'm literally gonna boom myself. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds not like how I intended it to sound. It sounded like I was about to shoot myself. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not what I intended. I mean, I don't know. Oh my goodness, not Hamfrey again. I have a bad feeling about this, guys. I have a bad feeling. I already ranked Hamfrey. He was horrible. I hate him. I think I gave him like a D. If he shows up again, he's moving to the F tier. Look how cloudy it is. It's so pretty. Oh, it's Pashmina again. Okay, I'm like at my last limit. If I get another repeat, I'm just going to Treasure Island. If I see Pashmina again, she's going down to the F tier too. Not kidding. Alrighty. Ew, Samson. That's Samson, right? That's his name. This may be controversial. I think he's cute. He's a solid rat, you know? Like you think of rats and he's just like the most basic rat. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? Rats need love too. Except, except the rats we already saw on this villager hunt who were horrible and will not even be named or thought of by me. Samson is cute. Solid C tier, you know? He's like one of those villagers that just look like the animal. You can't go wrong with that. Alrighty. Island number five. <gasps> it's Freya. Why am I getting so many wolves? Freya is solid, you know? The only place I want to dock points is like the yellow eyes. 
kind of gives jaundice vibes in my opinion that's the only part the pink fur is literally chef's kiss so i mean she's solid eight in my opinion i love her nothing nothing bad to say thank god i'm getting some new villagers because i was <laughs> i was losing my mind <laughs> it was this close bell bottom swing this is stove top glock and spiel why do you even bother talking to me with that nonsense anyway bamboo island oh it's alfonso i feel like he has ringworms he needs to get checked out like he looks sick it's either that or he gives me like drunk energy like i don't hate the alligators but he is kind of traumatic because i just think of ringworms so yeah he's below the f tier which we have named a traumatic tier so sorry <sighs> he needs to get help medical help sorry i almost ran off to this island without you guys oh wow it's violet like the little dots on her head arm and legs are really cute and she's like the only villager really with that but it's just um her face is where we get thrown off you know what i mean not to be mean oh she has no butt cheeks does she oh she does they're hiding <laughs> Okay, I sound weird. I sound like I'm looking for them. But you know, if you're able to see the butt cheeks, I feel like that's trauma. So, you know, it's, I have to take that into account. Um, it's just her face. I feel like her nose holes are bigger than her eyes, which I don't appreciate. And I don't like the little space between her lips. It's like, you know, when you put on lipstick and it doesn't reach the bottom or the inside of your lips, that's like a user error. So I feel like she probably is not good at makeup, you know? <laughs> Violet is just a girl. She's just learning how to do makeup, which I is a struggle I relate to. So she's not going in the trauma tier, although she has butt cheeks. She's definitely like F tier to D tier, you know? Ma'am, where are you? I think her color is really pretty, you know? Purple, like that color, I love the purple of her fur. Like that as a color is really pretty. So I think, personally, like she is not the most offensive looking gorilla out there. So I'm gonna put her in the D minus tier. Great. Okay, goodbye. I'm leaving. <laughs> Before the game thinks I like gorillas. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> you know, I don't hate the lions. Like, I don't think they're- actually, no, that's a lie. I think the lions in this game are hella ugly. Hella ugly. Like rhino tier. Gorilla tier even. I don't know his name. I don't care to look it up. I saw his facial hair, especially his eyebrows, and that was literally enough for me. I hate his facial hair. Something about it just gives me the ache. And you know how the ends of his hair kind of match his body color? That to me... Oh my gosh, excuse me tree. That to me is giving that he's balding. He's hiding behind the tree because he needs to. He needs to. I would prefer it that way too, no offense. I'm heading out. Two more tickets and then I'm going to Treasure Island. I'm done. I'm tired. Okay, another bamboo island. Pray for me. Hopefully somebody cute. Oh. See, I was looking at Violet for too long. Now the game thinks I like gorillas. Mm. This is like the most normal looking gorilla. I mean, I don't have a problem with him. Like he's... Oh. Never mind, I have one problem with him. And it's those cheeks. He needs to cover up. Nobody's trying to see those, okay? Especially not me. I was gonna give him a C because he's like a solid, normal looking gorilla. But I forget that they have butt cheeks. So I think he's like right at the cusp of C minus and D. So right there, because of those butt cheeks. I'm out of here. <laughs> I think this is the last ticket in my storage. So hopefully the game will have mercy on me and give me a cute villager. But we shall see. And once I run out of tickets, obviously I'll just go to a treasure island, grab Lucky or Tia, get on to our last one. Either we're gonna kick out either Lolly or Fauna. Hopefully Lolly. I want to kick out Lolly because I don't know what type of build I'm gonna give him. But with Fauna, like I can give Fauna a library. In fact, I took a screenshot of one of the letters Fauna wrote me because I was clearing out my mailbox the other day and she wrote something about wanting to be in a library and I understand that most normal villagers would write that but with Fauna, it just makes sense. Fauna looks like somebody who would just read a lot. 
And I love that. And that's why I want her on my island. Oh, it's... What's his name? I should talk to him. Oh, I don't have a vaulting pole. How embarrassing. Oh my god, is this Gabby? The name Gabby triggers me after watching Attack on Titan, honestly. So I kind of want to put Gabby in the D tier. I hate the hair from the back. Like, what is... Like, what is it giving? Mohawk, but it's not spiked up. You know, like, imagine a day off for the Mohawk. <sighs> I think the face is cute, but it's just the hair that's kind of ugly, along with the shirt. Yeah, so I don't like her. I think D tier. D minus, because her name is Gabby. <laughs> so we got lucky, thankfully. Look at all my cute new villagers just chilling here. Well, it's only one. It's Marcy. I did see Claudia running around here somewhere. I need to move these villager houses from the beach, honestly. Oh my god, look at her. She is so cute, and I love the little dress she wears, and look at her stripes. They are literal hearts. I can't wait to give her the build that she deserves, which I'm gonna keep a secret. When I tell you, you're just gonna be like, oh, that makes so much sense. I hope. <laughs> I hope so. So, yeah. And then we have Lucky's house here, which you can't really see. Um, Lucky should be somewhere around the island, too. But, yeah, I mean... Since I have most of the villagers that I want now, we got Marcy, Lucky, and Claudia today. It was a great day, and I'm super happy to have them on my island. I'm cutting the video short here because my brain is kind of fried. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. My brain is fried from time traveling, like trying to find a thought bubble, kicking people out, and also villager hunting. The next thought bubble I get, I'm probably gonna kick him out because I still want a cooking girly, a baker, a girl boss business owner on my island so either i'm gonna bring back meringue or i'm gonna get tia if i don't get either one of those then i'm gonna get my freaking chai amiibo card and bring chai onto the island because i need one of the cooking girlies on my island but i don't know who to kick out <sighs> i don't know i love all my villagers and if fauna had a thought bubble i don't know if i can part with her today Maybe tomorrow I'll be stronger. Maybe in the future I'll be stronger. But today I can't. And if Lolly gets a thought bubble, I will cry. So we're just gonna call it here because I am not mentally strong enough to say bye to those two villagers. So, so for now, I'm gonna cut the video here. Yeah, thanks again so much for watching and I hope you enjoy. If you like the video, feel free to like the video and I'll see you in the next one. See you next time. Bye.